Okey, bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okey. Welcome to ECV 3412, pecutan terakhir A+, Hydraulic 2. Okey. Before that, kepada yang beragama Islam, mari kita membaca doa sebelum belajar. Dan kepada yang bukan beragama Islam, It's not uh, not Muslim. You can takaful, okay? So mari kita membaca doa untuk yang bu yang agam yang beragama Islam. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Allahumma fta alina khidmat rasul alina min khaza ini rahmatika ya arhamar rahimin. Rabbi shrahli sadri wa yasli amri wahlun udata min isan yafkahu kali. Rabbi yasir wa tu'asiyah karim. Rabbi zikni ilman wa fahman. Wa sallahu alaihi sallina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Walhamdulillahi rabbi alamin. Amin amin rabbi alamin. Semoga kita mendapat berkat dan faham apa yang kita belajar selama ini dan dapat diterang, diterangi ilmunya, diterangi hatinya untuk memahami setiap intinya apa yang kita belajar okay? Semoga kita Mendapat kefahaman yang lebih Tinggi okay? Dan belajarlah kerana Allah SWT InsyaAllah Semoga kita berjaya Di dunia juga di akhirat okay. Sudah ceramah okay? So good morning to everyone okay? Welcome to ECV 3412 Similitude model Okay I want to focusing on simultaneous model only because the dimensional analysis is not come out in our final exam. Okay, just focus on simultaneous model. Okay. So, hydraulic simultaneous is a model study. Okay. So, basically. Hydraulic project can be massive, can be expensive, and can be complex. Maksudnya dalam bahasa Melayu ni, okay, projek hydraulic ni selalunya dia massive, dia selalunya dia mahal, dia serabut, dia terlalu complex. Okay, contohnya adalah for example of such project include dam. Okay, you tengok ni, dam ni. Dam, okay, spillway, culvert, and many, so on. Okay, so, this project, okay, this project of dam, project of spillway, culvert, is a massive, expensive, and very complex, okay? So, even in relatively simple hydraulic project, it is often impossible to predict the exact or actual flow pattern and actual dynamic force and stress on hydraulic structure without conducting a model study. Okay? Maksudnya, kita ada satu projek. Contohnya kita ambil dam. Okay? So, awak nak Kira flow rate untuk dam. Tapi adakah flow rate tu dia dapat exact value? So it's impossible to predict the exact flow pattern. Bila kita buat kajian dekat satu kawasan dam yang actual. So that's why we have, that's why, okay, hydraulic scale model are needed to scale down to predict quantitatively the flow behavior of the full size hydraulic structure or also known as full scale prototype maksudnya kita nak buat satu project iaitu dam kita ada satu actual dam yang ni and then kita perlu ada satu model yang kecil untuk kita tahu scale dia macam mana, bagaimana to predict okay so a method is needed to use result of experiment conducted 
on the scale model to predict quantitatively the flow behavior of the full size hydraulic structure. Okay, so kalau I nak buat satu model, okay, saya nak buat satu eksperimen untuk tahu saya punya, untuk tahu kita punya um, flow rate untuk dam yang sebenar-benarnya, kita banner model yang kecil. Macam mana nak banner? Sebab tu kita perlukan skill model. Okay, that's why hydraulic similitude is important. Okay, to know the skill model and to predict the quantitatively the flow behavior okay so jangan risau you can understand better with the example okay don't worry so what is hydraulic similitude is built upon dimensional analysis okay this topic menceritakan hydraulic similitude ni okay dia adalah built upon dimensional analysis what is dimension analysis is each term in a question must have same combination of unit. Maksudnya, okay, satu equation ni, dia a same unit. Ni untuk force, untuk pressure, untuk kinematic, untuk height. So, your unit mesti meter. Okay. So, does not give a direct anal analytical solution but it to formulate the problem. Okay. This Subtopic on dimensional analysis, okay, is not come out in your final exam, okay. So I don't want to focusing on this subtopic anymore, okay, because doctor already said to me it's not come out, so tak payah nak baca sebab kita dah buat benda ni masa tahun lepas hydraulic one, okay. So this is table example, okay. Packing Pythorum, okay, procedure, blah, 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 okay, it's not come out, it's not come out, okay, example 2, okay, example 3, okay, okay, so I want to focusing on part 2 only, only on similitude model, okay, so basically, okay, there are three types of similitary should exist, should exist, okay, Sepatutnya muncul between prototype and its model in order to ensure that the model is completely similar to and does accurately represent the prototype. Okay. So we have prototype here. Okay. And model. Prototype ni maksudnya the actual structure. Okay. Saya ada dam. Dam yang paling actual dekat dam kat mana-mana lah yang paling actual okay? lepas tu saya nak kira flow rate takkanlah saya nak kira flow rate dekat dam actual mesti tak, mesti dah tak tepat okay? not exact the value of flow is very very actual okay? so that's why we need okay, to do the model study so kita perlukan buat model so we have skill okay? so in order to to get the accurate represent the prototype okay so we have a three type of similarity which is geometric kinematic and dynamic okay so <coughs> okay so a model this a model. A model should be similar in shape to the prototype. Okay. So, selalunya nak buat model, model tu mesti kecil berbanding prototype. Okay. So, geometric is only expressed in length. Kinematic only involve kinematic variable such as velocity, time, Discharge and acceleration. Okay, dynamic is force, density, power and pressure. Okay, kita pergi satu persatu dulu. Geometric, kinematic and dynamic. Ingat, geometric only express in length only, on only in length. Okay, kinematic, velocity, time, discharge, acceleration, dynamic, force, density. 
power and pressure okay so first geometric similar similarity okay okay the model is geometric reduction of the prototype by adopting a fixed scale ratio for all dimension okay kita ada lr lr ni adalah length ratio ratio of length okay L lm is length model m is model l subscribe m is at length of model L subscribe P, length of prototype. What is prototype? What is model? Okay. Model is the smallest scale replica of the actual structure. Okay. Prototype, the actual structure. Maksudnya, prototype ni benda yang actual. Contohnya, dam. Okay. Dam yang awal-awal tadi tu. Kalau model pula, kita buat banner model yang kecil. Okay. Itu adalah model. Untuk dam Okay, untuk apa-apa jenis projek lah Dam ke, culvert ke Okay, yang penting prototype tu adalah besar berbanding model Okay, so the ratio of the length in model LR Okay, LM is uh, length of model LP is prototype Ingat, P ialah stand for prototype M stand for model Okay, and equal to constant Make sure this formula is, you remember this formula. Okay, LR over LM. LR equal to LM over LP. Okay, so physical quantities involve a length. Okay, geometric ni hanya involve length, area and volume. Okay, so area ialah AR equal AM over AP. AM ialah area model bagi AP. Equal juga dengan L square M. Kenapa L square? Sebab area mestilah base time height. So, L dua. So, tadi length saja. Sekarang area. Area mestilah kali dua kali. So, jadi L square M. L square P. So, L square model. L square prototype. Equal to constant. Okay. And then the volume. Product of 3 length. So, kita kena kali dengan 3. So, 3 kali lah. So, L square. So, volume ratio equal to Vm over Vp equal to L square M over L square L cube M over L cube P. Okay. M is model. P is prototype. Length of prototype. Length of the model. Length of the prototype. Okay, make sure you ingat. Kalau length saja L saja. Kalau area, mesti L kuasa 2. Kalau volume, L kuasa 3. Okay? You need to know this. It's a basic, basic concept. Okay? And then, <coughs> no, geometric symmetry is the similarity of the shape. Okay? It is said to exist between model and prototype. So, if ratio of all corresponding linear dimension is model, and a Prototype are equal. Okay. Example, LP over LM. Okay. Kalau length bagi, length lah LP over LM. Okay. Kalau, um, it's not. This is, uh, terbalik S ni, ini lah M, LM. Ni LP. Okay. Ni put LM, BP. Okay. Kalau dia bagi diameter nak cari LR adalah DM over DP okay? So This is the geometric similarity Okay So we go to example Okay one by one Example for geometric similarity Okay I ulang balik LR ialah Length ratio untuk length kot LM over LP Kalau area mestilah Length dua kali length lah Area AM over AP L square M over L square P Kalau volume product So VM over VP So L cube M over L P L cube P Okay 
So kalau dia bagi diameter juga Diameter so sama lah Diameter Diameter dm over dp Okay So for example A model for hard Hard circular Okay Water conduct Conduit is constructed The prototype has The diameter 5 meter Okay So maksudnya prototype untuk Circular Hutch model Okay We have uh, Ni Circular Okay Okay ada satu pipe yang circular So we have diameter 5 meter Okay so tulis 5 meter The model is built to the scale ratio Between model and prototype of 1 over 10 Okay It has a length of 4 meter Okay so Model Dia punya length adalah 4 meter So kita buat table supaya organize sikit Okay So we have prototype Okay 5 meter Okay diameter Model kita tak tahu betul Length dia bagi dalam soalan 4 meter So find the diameter of the model Okay Nak cari diameter macam mana Kan saya dah ajar tadi Yalah Kalau dia bagi ni Guna terus formula ni Okay So dm over dp Dr ialah Diameter ratio equal dm over dp Equal to X over M Kenapa X? Sebab dia tak bagi diameter untuk model Okay, so letak X Bahagi diameter P Diameter prototype So, kita dah, dia, dia dah mention Diameter prototype is 5 So, 5 Equal to the ratio for diameter The ratio is 1 over 10 1 over 10 So, you can get X X is diameter for model. Settle. Okay. Make sure every equation, if the equation ask you the diameter, the length of the base, you can use this formula. LR over DM over DP or kalau bagi length, LM over LP. Kalau bagi base, BM over BP. Okay. Make sure you remember this. Okay. That's one the first question. Understand right? Okay. So, the second question is the cross-sectional area. Okay. So, nak cari area. Area apa? Area of circular hutch, hutch circular water conduit. Okay. So, apa formula area? So, kita buat untuk AP dulu. Okay. Sebab AP kan dah dapat dua punya diameter. Dah ada dua punya diameter sini. Lima. Kan? So, AP ialah pi d square over 4. Kita substitute d ni ialah 5. Okay, 5. So, you can get 19.635 meter square. Okay, settle. And then for AM, area for model. So, once you dah dapat diameter model, you can substitute this value on this. So, pi d square over 4, you can get 0 0.1964. Okay. Use just that we choose d is 0 0.5. Okay. Ataupun, you nak guna cara yang susah sikit, boleh juga. Okay. Memandangkan area. Okay. AR, tadi tu yang kita yang kita belajar tadi. AR, AM over AP equal to L square M over L square P. Okay. This formula, okay, this formula. So, area M. Area M kita nak cari. So, letak X. Bahagi, bahagi, bahagi pula. Bahagi area prototype. So, area prototype dalam soal yang kita cari ialah ni. Betul? So, 19.635. Okay, 19. 635, 6 typo, 635, okay. So, you can get equal to LR square. Okay, make sure 
LR square ya sebab apa LR square sebab dia dua kali length actually is L square R okey sebab apa sebab length sebab area ada dua kali length okey area product of two length that's why you LR square so x over 19.835 equal to equal to Okay, equal to LR apa? 1 over 10 kuasa 2. Okay. So, you can get X. Ah, So, this just using this formula. So, you can understand that right? you can get X value. X is the area model. So, X is 0 0.1964. So, you can get the same answer for this question. Ataupun, you nak, you nak guna cara ni pun boleh. You nak guna cara ni pun boleh. Sama sahaja. Okay. And then, C. The type, the length of the prototype. So, same question before. Kalau nak cari length. So, LR. Okay, this formula. LR equal lm over lp right so using same this formula lr over lm over lp lr is ratio selalunya dia bagi ratio dalam soalan ratio tu ialah skill ratio 1 over 10 so you substitute terus lm over lp lm apa lm length model dah bagi 4 okey tak 4 bagi lp lp tak tahu nak cari tu so, letak x okey letak x Equal to 1 over 10. 1 over 10 adalah the, the the scale ratio between model and prototype. So, 1 over 10. So, equal 1 over 10. Okay. So, 1 over 10 ni represent the this length ratio. Okay. LM ialah 4. LP ialah X. Length model 4 ni 4 ni. 4. LP ialah length prototype. X tahu. So, nak cari X. Nak cari length of prototype. So, you... Cross here, cross here, dapatlah X equal 40. Okay. So, 10 times with 4. Okay. And then, equal to X. You can get X is 40. Settle. Okay. So, next part is kinematic. Okay. Kinematic similarity. Kalau kinematic, Ratio the time, TM over TP, equal to time ratio, okay? Equal to R, LR over VR. Selalunya soalan, um, selalunya formula dah bagi dalam soalan, okay? Kalau velocity ratio, VR, VM over VP. Make sure M atas. Bawalah P, prototype, okay? So, kalau acceleration ni formula dia. Kalau discharge ni formula dia. QM over QP. Equal to QR. Okay. QM over QP. Equal QR. Discharge ratio. Ataupun panggil L square R VR. Okay. Don't worry about this formula. Okay. The third last is dynamic similarity okay to have a similar pattern of streamline maksudnya okay contohlah kan saya ada kereta ni kereta model kereta prototype yang besar okay contohlah ni kereta eh so maksudnya to have a similar pattern of streamline so, dia ada streamline, streamline, oh, ni streamline, okay, streamline. Ni pun ada streamline model, ya. Yeah? So, it is necessary to consider the force acting on the fluid particle in both model and prototype cases be proportional. Maksudnya, apa-apa pun force acting on this fluid particle in both prototype and model, Make sure it's proportional, okay? So, kinematic similarity does not consider the force. 
Okay, dynamic sahaja yang consider the force. Okay, kalau kinematik hanya rate of time, discharge, acceleration, velocity. Okay. So, two system that have dynamic similarity must be kinematic similar. Also, should be geometrically similar. Okay. So, this is very important. Okay. Dynamic similarity, force, acceleration, time with mass. Okay. MA. So, this formula for force ratio, Fm over Fp. Equal to density R this this equation from the dimensional analysis. Don't worry, this formula is given. Don't worry, okay. Work is force time with distance. So this formula was work ratio, and power ratio is this formula. Okay, don't worry this much because this this equation selalu yang tak guna pun yang guna di yang penting kat belakang nanti. Okay, so two then dynamically similar system can be expressed in pi and n p rho l and v. Ngok, selalunya um, dynamic ni selalunya guna p l v je. Selalunya term tu je yang dia express. Okay, if the type of fluid in the two system are the same, the density ratio is will be unity. Okay, l r is defined based on available space. Okay, v r is determined based on dominating force. So, what is dominating force? Okay. Okay. So, force dominate the phenomena under investigation in consider and the rest is neglected. Maksudnya, force yang dominant sahaja yang consider. Force yang lain, force yang lain, okay, the neglected. Kita ada banyak force sebenarnya, okay. So, yang paling penting, okay, yang paling dia important eh, yang paling important is, okay, the paling-paling important is what? First is gravity force, okay. Before that, kenapa kita nak dominating force? Kenapa kita nak ambil yang dominant sahaja? Sebab kita nak reduce cost. We can reduce the cost and simplify the solution. Okay, that is one reason. So, for example, open channel, sediment transport, dia hanya consider gravity force. Kalau flow in pipe, flow in pipe, the pipe, the flow air, lepas tu, dia ada flow water. So, yang penting adalah viscosity force. So, yang paling penting yang kita belajar adalah first, gravity force. Yang kedua adalah viscosity force. Okay. So, what is gravity force? So, phenomena where the free surface is present such as open channel flow, river, okay, spillway and dam, etc. So, the flow through an open channel is primarily governed by initial force and gravity force. Okay, Fg over Fi, gravity over initial inertia for model and Fg over Fi for prototype. Which means the ratio of initial force over the ratio of gravity force of the model and prototype must equal B1. Maksudnya, the ratio of, of the gravity and inertia must equal to 1. Okay. Okay. It was found that fraud number, okay. Ingat, gravity force mesti gunakan fraud number. Ingat, gravity force mesti guna fraud number can be used. To establish the similitude between model and prototype for open channel. Maksudnya kan, kalau saya ada satu kereta, okay, satu kereta yang besar, yang actual, lepas tu saya nak modelkan kereta ni. Contoh, eh, for example. So, saya gunakan fraud number sebab kita nak Establish the similitude atau scale model between the prototype for open channel. So, contohlah ni 
ni ialah ni bukan kereta kita nak belajar apa hidrolik so kita buat dam okey dia contoh dam 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 okey so nak establish the fruit number nak establish the similitude between model and prototype so saya gunakan fruit number sebagai dia punya equation okey So, kita ada um, since the gravity force is the same gravity for prototype equal to gravity for model GR equal to 1 maksudnya GP is is equal to GM okay so this is formula this is the formula for fraud number V equal divided by GL okay velocity divided by gravity times length equal to 1 ok, V memandangkan G ni kita boleh ignore dia, kosong dia kan sama dengan model ok, bila Fm equal Fp, force model equal to force prototype G ni akan cancel out because Gp equal to Gm so we can get Vr equal to L R1 over 2 L ni naik atas, L naik tepi dapatlah L R 1 over 2 ok ok tadi saya kata kalau open channel gravity force ok, contoh kan saya ada satu culvert ok, ni culvert saya, culvert ni air saya, saya nak banner culvert ni, saya tahu culvert tu dia punya dominating force adalah gravity so bila nak cari saya saya nak cari dia punya height berapa diameter dan diameter culvert ni so saya nak gunakan fruit number ni sebagai satu equation saya sebab itulah yang penting ni this formula are important okey so bila saya nak bina model saya untuk culvert saya kena tahu dia punya dimension macam mana nak tahu dia punya dimension so saya using fruit number, ok, fruit number ni akan establish the similitude between model and prototype for open channel kenapa fruit number sebab dia gravity force kenapa dia gravity force sebab culvert dia punya dominating force dia adalah gravity force gravity, that's why I only use fruit number ok, untuk tentukan dia punya dimension, dia punya base, dia punya diameter ok, make sure you ingat gravity force only consider fruit number sahaja ok ok, the second part you need to know viscous force, kita dua sahaja first gravity, second viscous force ok, so the formula for viscous force selalu kita guna adalah ni ok Make sure you remember, kalau viscous force, kita guna Renault number. Okay, the, of the model and prototype must be keep at the same value. Okay, masuk yang tadi, kalau gravity, kita nak, kita gunakan fraud number. Kalau viscosity, kita gunakan Renault number. Okay, sebagai dia punya equation. Okay, so the formula for Renault number is VL, ok, this VL VL velocity times sweet length over V macam ni, ni adalah viscosity, you punya kinematic kinematic viscosity, ok jangan terbalik dengan ni ni ialah dynamic viscosity V macam ni adalah kinematic viscosity. Selalu ni dalam dalam soalan akan mention kinematic ke dynamic, okay? So this formula is very important, okay? Make sure kalau viscous force ialah guna Renault 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 number. So this is formula for Renault number. Kalau gravity force, gravity force contohnya apa? Contohnya open channel, okay? Open channel ataupun floating bodies, ok, kalau viscous force selalunya dekat dalam pipe so, pipe mengalir, so pipe-pipe ok, ni pipe 
So selalunya viscose force ni berlaku dekat pipe. That's why kalau nak design pipe, kita gunakan Reynolds number sebagai dia punya equation. Okay, untuk establish the similitude. Okay. So next. So you need to understand eh, we have gravity force and viscous force. So topic, subtopic gravity force and viscous force ni, dia under dynamic similarity. Okay. Sebab dia berkait dengan force. So don't worry about this theory or this equation. Okay. We see the question. Okay. The example question. Okay, mesti awak lebih faham kalau awak dia bagi example. Okay, so don't worry. If you didn't understand, you can see the example after this. Okay. So example two. So this problem regarding So this problem So this problem regarding viscosity problem. So saya ulang balik viscosity, viscous force dia melibatkan Reynolds number. Okay. So the question first. A model of the car in figure one is figure one. Cewah car dia mewah betul. Okay. Is constructed to a scale one over four. So this scale ratio. Okay. One over four. Make sure scale ratio one over four. And is is to be tested at 20 degree in a water tunnels. Determine the required velocity okay, of the water if the actual car is travelling at 30 meter per second. Maksudnya velocity velocity okay, in the air. Maksudnya 30 tu adalah velocity Yang actual, okay? 30 meter per second in air at this problem is viscosity. So, use the Reynolds number as the dimensionless number to be certified. Sebab itulah kita gunakan Reynolds number. Sebab kita tahu dia lah viscosity problem, okay? So, given kinematic viscosity, okay? Kinematic viscosity yang bentuk V ni. Is 1.00 times 10 power of negative 6 meter square per second for model, and photo prototype is 15.1 times 10 power negative 6 meter square per second. So, soalan ni awak kena tahu, okay? Kalau 30 ni, 30 ni, yang mana? Yang prototype ke atau model? So dia menceritakan the actual car, okay? No, actual car ni menandakan 30 meter per second velocity untuk prototype yang actual. Okay. So, so use Reynolds number as a dimensionless number to be certified. Okay. So, step one, formula Reynolds number. Mana formula Reynolds number? So, this is formula Reynolds number. Yang kita guna adalah yang ini. Sebab apa? Sebab kita, dia melibatkan dalam soalan hanya V saja. Hanya kinematic viscosity. V ni ialah kinematic viscosity. V besar adalah V besar adalah velocity. Mu ni ialah dynamic viscosity. So kita ada dua sahaja viscosity, dynamic and vis, dynamic and kinematic. So V ni ialah kinematic viscosity, okay? So you, you we use this formula. So you so VL over V V V model and VL over V prototype. V ni adalah kinematic viscosity. Okay. And then kita expand. VM, LM. Okay. V dalam M, LM. So VM, LM. VM equal to VP, LP, VP. Just expand saja ni. Expand ni, ni expand ni. Dapatlah VP, LP, V bagi VP. Okay. So you can get this equation. And then and then, so, dia nak determine the required velocity of the water. So, dia nak Vm. Okay. Sebab Vp dah bagi 30 meter per second. Vp lah velocity yang actual car. Okay. You single this, you single this 
subject vm okay vm okay so vp vm lp or vp lp okay you yang lain ni yang lain yang lain ni you pergi ke belah kanan okay you singlekan vm saja vm yang velocity v besar ni velocity so you can get vp darab dengan vm lp over vp lm okay so vm equal vp vp adalah 30 Sebab apa kat sini dalam soalan 30 meter per second Dikata travelling at 30 meter per second Iaitu actual car Sebab itulah dia punya velocity Untuk prototype adalah 30 Okay And then at VM, VP ni You just substitute saja. Sebab dalam soalan dah bagi dah Sebab V ke, v yang V ni Dia adalah kinematic viscosity namanya So v, kinematic viscosity untuk model 1.00 okay. Kalau VP untuk prototype 15.1 And then make sure LP over LM Macam mana dapat LP over LM Kita guna formula ni L Kita guna formula ni okay. LR adalah length ratio Equal LM over LP Okay LM Dia lah yang asal Ratio asal dia Make sure LM over LP Okay So 1 over 4 Okay Kenapa guna LM sebab LP Sebab kita Dia dah dalam so dalam equation ni digunakan LM over LP tau. Okay, so kita guna yang asal. LM over LP. LM over LP equal to length ratio dia adalah, scale ratio adalah 1 over 4. 1 over 4. Memandangkan dalam equation ni, dalam ni, okay. Memandangkan dalam benda ni, Okay, memandangkan dalam benda ni, dalam benda ni ialah LP over LM, awak kena terbalikkan, okay? Ni, benda ni kena terbalikkan, okay? Sebab itulah 4 over 1. Sebab ni LP over LM. Yang ni LM over LP. Okay, you, so you substitute this value, you terbalikkan dapat 4 over 1. And then you substitute on this part. Okay, so ulang balik, nak dapatkan LP over LM, Awak kena buat ni dulu. The ratio dia. Length ratio. Yang untuk geometrik tadi. Sen formula untuk length ratio ialah LM over LP. Equal to 1 over 4. Okay. 1 over 4 dapat berapa mana? Dapat berapa mana? Soalan. Scale ratio dia. So, bila dapat RLR dia 1 over 4. Tapi, yang ni ialah LP over LM. Sekarang ni, yang ni ialah LM over LP. So, awak terbalikkan dia. Dapatlah 4 over 1. That's why you substitute on this. You can get VM ialah 7.95. So, this is the example question for viscosity problem. Okay. Easy kan? Okay. Next question. Example 3. Okay. Okay. So, this is gravity problem. Okay. So, saya ulang balik kalau gravity problem. Apa? Kalau gravity problem. Okay. Dia gunakan Fraud number Ingat, Kalau gravity problem dia gunakan Fraud number okay. So the dam in figure 2 So this is a figure 2 dam Okay dam ni dam, dam Is to be built Such as The um, Such as Such that the estimated average flow Over it crest Maksudnya Dia punya flow rate ni dekat over it stress Crest will be 3,000 meters cube per second. Determine the required flow over crest of a model built to scale 1 over 25. Okay. So, the scale ratio dia lah 1 over 25. And then, the gravity of the water is predominating force. Maksudnya, gravity tu adalah dia punya dominant force dia. So, use fraud number similitude to solve this problem selalunya soalan akan mention fraud number ke Renault number so automatic lah kalau dam mesti dia gravity problem ok kalau flow pipe uh, atau flow model dia akan bagi dia lah, tentulah dia viscosity problem ok so you need to determine that ok kalau use fraud number similitude so step 1 ok step 1 formula fraud number Apa formula fraud number? Ni lah formula fraud number asal dia. Okay. So, V ni V tau. 
v velocity over square root gl g adalah gravity l adalah length okey untuk model equal dengan v over g square root gl untuk prototype okey so step 1 float number so this is equation okey make sure you samakan model dengan prototype Okay, and then step two, you need to calculate the VR. VR is volume ratio. Kenapa kita nak guna VR? Sebab kita perlukan VR, sorry. VR is velocity ratio, okay. Sorry, eh. Kenapa kita nak cari VR? Sebab, sebab atas ni ialah V, velocity. So, dia berkait. Okay, formula untuk VR Velocity ratio is VM over VP Velocity model bagi Velocity Prototype Is equal to LR L1 over 2 R Length ratio Tengok ni Dah bagi dalam dalam equation Okay VR is L1 over 2 Okay So VR equal juga dengan VM over VP Equal juga dengan L 1 over 2 R Length ratio Length 1 over 2 ratio Okay Equal dengan LM over LP Kurungan 1 over 2 Okay So dia sama je dia punya ni Equation dia Sama dia punya sama dengan So VR Okay Dia punya ratio dia adalah 1 over 2, 25 So you substitute saja 1 over 25 Kuasa 1 per 2 Ingat Kalau untuk float number Dia punya ratio ialah Length 1 over 2 So 1 over, 1 over 25 Kuasa 1 per 2 1 over 25 Dapat daripada Dapat daripada dalam soalan Dia punya ratio dia So VR equal 1 over 25 Kuasa 1 per 2 That's The VR Okay, understand eh Nak cari VR Okay So, express the velocity value In term of flow ratio Since Q equal to VA Q adalah discharge Equal to velocity times area Okay Okay So, VM over VP Okay Equal to V So, Q Equal to VA Okay VM Ialah Q over A right Equal to V Okay Sekarang VM Velocity model So Q model bagi area model Q model Bagi area model Okay sekarang VP lah VP is Velocity prototype So Q prototype Um, VP Kan terbalik kan So dia naik, at naik atas okay. So QP Bagi dengan AP Faham Okay Make sure you know this eh. Kalau VM QM over AM Okay Kalau VP Q ke bawah Sebab apa? Sebab VP ke bawah Okay Q, A ke atas QP over AP Dia derive from this formula Q equal VA Okay Tak senang cerita kalau awak tak faham kan 1 over VP Okay Equal to AP over QP Ok, kalau saya ni, naik uh, nak cari VP, kan sama je terbalikkan je ni So, that's why saya dapat ni VP ialah AP over QP So, kalau saya cross sini Sini cross, kan sama dapat Q equal QAV So that's why lah VP saya, Q saya ke bawah QP, A dekat atas Sebab saya terbalikkan dia okay? 
So you can get QM darab dengan AP divided by QP darab dengan AM. Okay. So equal dengan QM over QP. Sekarang yang tinggal A. Yang tinggal apa? Ya, yang tinggal lah AP AM ni. So memandangkan dia area kan area. Okay. Ingat, ingat, ingat lagi tak? Untuk geometrik. Memandangkan dia area. So LP over LM kuasa 2. Kita ikut, kita ikut, kita ikut balik ni. P dengan M ni. So, dia kena kuasa 2 sebab dia area. Okay, ingat. Area is the product of two length. That's why you use kuasa 2. So, QM, QP kekalkan and darab dengan LP divided by LM kuasa 2. And equal to QM over QP, LP, LM ialah you terbalikkan. Terbalikkan yang ratio ni. Memandangkan ratio ni ialah LM over LP tapi sekarang LP over LM. So awak terbalikkan jadi 25 over 1. Sebabkan ni kan VR kan sama dengan LM over LP kan. So awak terbalikkan yang ni jadi 25 over 1. So you kuasa 2. Okay faham macam ni. Okay. So ulang balik eh. Yang LM over LP ti dapat dari mana? L P over LM ni dapat daripada sini. Yang ni, LM over LP kan. LM over LP sama dengan dia punya, dia punya ratio dia. 1 over 25. So, kalau sini LM kan. LM ialah, LM over LP ialah 1 over 25. Kalau dia terbalik, LP over LM. So, terbaliklah value tu. 25 over 1. Okay, you can get this. QM over QP times 25 over 1 kuasa 2. Okay, and then you substitute 1 into 2. Okay, you nampak tak bulat warna merah jambu ni? Memandangkan VM over VP. Okay. De bersamaan dengan L over 25, 1 over 2. Sama dengan VM over VP. QM, QP, 25 over 1, kuasa 2. Okay. So, awak ambil nilai ni, ambil nilai ni balik, yang equation kedua ni, QM over QP, darab dengan 25, kuasa 2, equal dengan yang ni. Yang saya buat mana jambu ni. Kan VM over VP sama dengan VR. Kan VR kan ni, 1 over 25, darab dengan 1 over 2. So, you equal 1 over 25 kuasa 1 over 2. Okay. And then, you singlekan QM. Okay. You can get this. Okay. Faham? Sebab soalan dia nak flow rate. Flow rate untuk model. That's why this is solution. Okay. How to find the QM from fruit number and then you pecah-pecahkan jadi substitute substitute dapatlah QM. Okay, so you need to understand this basic concept. Okay, please understand basic concept of this. Dia tak lari pun. Dia kalau fruit number, awak pecah-pecahkan fruit number. Okay. Dia banyak pusing-pusing dekat you kena tukar-tukar sikit dia punya Q equal VA macam tu. Ha, that's why. Okay. You kena pegang konsep geometrical yang LR over LM over LP and then the gravity the, 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 the dynamic dynamic okay, dynamic force tu. Okay. Kalau tak faham juga awak bacalah doa apa-apa pun untuk awak faham lebih lebih lagi. So, awak, atau awak repeat balik video saya ni. Mungkin awak lebih faham macam mana nak dapat benda tu. Okay. So, the last question. The last example. Okay. The last example. Example 4. Geometric campur gravity problem. Okay. For example, an open channel with a rectangular cross section has 7 meter width. Okay. 7 meter width. Okay. Ingat. 7 meter width dengan 2 meter length ni adalah dia punya prototype rectangular cross section. Okay. Water flow through 5 meter cube per second. Ni dia punya 
this such. Okay, a model is being designed to a scale of one over one zero to four that prototype. Okay, so find the cross sectional cross sectional dimension of the model and calculate the flow rate of the model using float number similarity. Similarity. Okay, so first thing which I measure, kita guna concept geometric. Okay, concept geometric. So step one, find the cross sectional dimension. So LR equal to LM over LP. Okay, yang ni dari awal tadi. So memandangkan ratio dah bagi 1 over 1, 0 to 4. So you can sum dengan LM over LP kan. So 1 over 1, 0 to 4 equal dengan LM. LM dia tak bagi tahu sebab apa? Length of model. Length of model nak cari, okay? Sekarang LP dah bagi. LP dia ialah length of prototype is 2. So, 1 over 1, 0 to 4, okay, dia punya ratio, equal dengan dia punya LM over LP. Okay, LM tak bagi. 2 ni ialah dia punya length of prototype. Ni, 2 meter ni. And then you can get 0 0.002 meter, okay? Okay, and then nak cek W. Length dah ada, okay? Cek W pula. W ialah, macam mana setelah kalau dah bagi W, WR over WP. W ratio, width ratio, equal WM over WP. So, memandangkan ratio dah bagi, 1 over 1, 0 to 4, you equal dengan dia punya WM over WP. WM nak, tarik, nak cari. WP adalah 7. Width of prototype, 7. Okay? So, dapatlah WM. Settle. Easy kan? Okay. Senang. And then step 2, eh dah selesai. Step 2, calculate the flow rate of model using flow, float number. Ingat, kalau gravity automatic adalah float number kan. So, ambil equation ni asal. Sama equation ni. Okay. So, Vm velocity model. Okay. Divide by Lm. Okay. Mok, memandangkan G dan G hilangkan G Gm equal to Gp kan. Right? So, G tu potong lah. So, tinggal lah LM dengan LP sahaja. Okay, VM over square root LM, length of model, equal dengan VP, velocity prototype, divided by square root length of prototype. Okay, memandangkan V equal to Q over A, okay, you can substitute this V in term of this. Okay, Q model, divided by area model, divided by square root length model, equal dengan QP over AP, Divide by square root LP. So, and then, memandangkan area ni adalah length time time width, okay. Pindah ke bawah. Pindah bawah ni. Pindah ni, pindah jadi bawah sini. Okay. So, QM over LM times width WM square root LM. Betul? And then, equal Area ni adalah length times it p w width. So yang ni area ni, okay, you pindah bawah, okay, sama je pindah bawah, senang sikit. Pindah bawah jadi lp darab dengan wp, okay, ni cons ni basic math eh, uh, pindah bawah ni, pindah bawah, okay, qp over lp darab dengan wp and then times width square root lp. Okay, P ialah prototype, M ialah model. Okay, settle. After that, okay, pergi kat sini. Pergi ke equation ni. Okay. So, you masukkan segala formula mak nenek awak dah, dah, dah tahu. Sekarang nak cari QM, flow rate model. Kan dah tahu QP ni. QP ialah flow rate yang asal. 5 meter square, 5 meter cube per second. So, masukkan 5 yang untuk QP. LP pun dah tahu, LP ialah dia punya prototype yang asal eh. Ialah du, yang dua, kalau width itu jo, okay. LP square root dua, okay. And then, masukkan yang LM, WM, LM ni yang kita cek dari awal tadi yo. Yang ni. Okay. So, LM ialah 0.02, masukkan, okay. Masukkan LM, masukkan WM, 0.07, and darab dengan square root. LM 0.002 Can you get QM So this is the final answer To find QM actually Okay So this uh, basic 
concept how to solve the gravity problem okay the gravity problem also okay and then viscosity problem okay so i think that's all for today okay i hope you understand better with the example solution okay make sure you know how to know the gravity problem and viscosity problem okay you differentiate okay kalau viscosity gunakan Reynolds number kalau gravity gunakan 